Hey YouTube, it's Sean, Griffin RC Plans. Got a quick one for you. So I got my new E-Flight Extra 330. Yep, my favorite plane, the 300. Grew up to be a 330. <laughs> Imagine that. So, haven't flown it yet. I'm going to check the smart speed control to see if it has the uh, latest update. Let's just, uh, let's just see. It's always good to make sure they're updated. That way I could uh, take full advantage of what the Avian Smart Light Speed Control has to offer. You know, maybe I'm going to be at the flying field and I want to uh, make some changes to the speed control directly from my transmitter. And you can only do that if the software is, uh, you know, updated and updated on the transmitter, on the receiver, on the speed control, etc. So it's cold outside right now and I can't go flying, so let's just fiddle with our planes. Half the hobby is fiddling. My opinion. So I got the uh, Avian Smart uh, Speed Control program box. This uh, box does it quite a bit. We're going to use it to connect to my computer, connect to the speed control, and then we'll uh, see what uh, level of the uh, firmware, airware, whatever the speed control wear has in it, and what's the latest uh, available uh, one for it. So Let's plug it up, and I'll show you. All right, guys. So this is my first uh, Avian Light speed control. So I'm guessing that it can be updated because it has this separate servo lead with one wire coming off of it. Right here, we have the normal plug coming from the speed control label throttle, and then there's a separate one right there. So I'm going to plug some extensions into it real quick because that'll make it easier to plug into the program box and show you guys the box and all that instead of having everything all jumbled up right here so we've got some extensions we got this one and that one so we'll put them right there and then we'll put the program box down here this works for the firma and the avian the firma is the smart speed control for the for the cars for the cars the cars and the trucks so avian is for the airplanes and helicopters so you only need the program box if you just want to make changes to the speed control but if you want to update it you're going to need the USB-C cable and a computer all right we'll plug it up to the to the program box and then we'll connect the flight pack to it and I'll show you guys all that stuff so here on the program box We've got another USB-C, and then this one says speed control, and this one's battery. All right, connecting the uh, Avian Smart Speed Control program box to your Avian Smart Light Speed Control. There is a servo plug coming from the speed control that goes to your receiver, labeled throttle, and then there's a lead with just one wire. I've got some extensions on your program box. This one in the middle is labeled ESC. This next one is labeled battery. The plug with the single lead goes into where it says ESC. And you want to make sure you get the signal line lined up with signal. And then this box needs to be powered. There's no way for the box to get power right now because there's only one wire going into it. You know, we're using an extension. There's just one wire down there. So the plug that plugs into your speed control will go in this other one labeled battery to give it battery power so now the program box is connected and we need to connect a battery in your smart pack or your smart uh, speed control rather and then I'm going to power the ESC and then touch the button on the right here So we've got software 4.02, something like that, I think. Let's get back and see our 
our uh, software level again. Unplug it. It should 4.02 something, I think. Power the plane again. Four point zero point zero two. All right, let's see if there's an update for it. All right, got my computer. Got the got the Avian Smart Speed Control Updater Program app pulled up. Got my USB C program cable plugged into the computer. Plug the USB C portion of it into the speed control. All right, plug in battery. It says connecting PC, and now we can see things are happening on the computer right here. And let's see what we got going on in here. We can tell that we're connected to the speed control right now, and it's not connected to the box. You can update your program box in the same uh, program right here, but being that we got different flight modes and stuff available, we're connected to the speed control. And let's see down at the bottom, firmware upgrade. Click on that guy. And here's the version we have, the 4.0.02. And I'm going to look up here and see if, if there's, right here, available versions. There are no available versions as of 4.10.24. So we have the latest in there. And then I'm going to disconnect when it uh, allows me to. Disconnect. All right, I unplugged the battery pack. Now I'm gonna unplug the, unplug the servos out of the, or the servo plugs rather, out of the program box. So now I have the program box connected to the computer only. Let's see if I can connect to the program box. I'm gonna hit connect. So then we'll go to Devices, LCD Program Box. Now I'm going to plug in the USB-C and see if it connects to it. Connecting piece. Yep, so that's the, that's the series of events you need to do. So right now we're connected to the box only. <clears throat> Excuse me. And our firmware version is uh, PB 3.2.45. Let's see if there's an available version to upgrade the box. And there is not. So the box is still the same. Okay, speed control does not need an update, but we checked. So Avian Smart Light Speed Control is programmable by using the program box or you know your computer going through the program box, or as long as your receiver is smart and updated and as long as your transmitter is updated and the speed control is updated now you can program your speed control on the screen of your transmitter you know we went through those different menu choices real quick you know thrust reverse on channel 7 or channel 8 or channel 9 and brake type and you know timing for your motor and there's you know all those different choices plus more you can make those choices from the screen of your transmitter, if you want as well. All right, guys. Well, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. If that helps you out in any way, then my job's done here. So, hey, like, share, subscribe, all that stuff is the best way to support me. And make sure that you're still subscribed. For some reason, people are being unsubscribed and uh, they're not uh, doing it. Just uh, you know, say that five times. Subscribe, don't subscribe. Just, uh, just like, share, like, like, share, share some more, and uh, and comment, and do five more shares and likes, and and all that stuff. Okay, guys. Hey, at uh, twenty thousand subscribers, we're gonna do a three jet giveaway. That's Uno, Dos, and Trace, right? Get yeah, three jets. All right. Until next time, you'll see me here. Adios.